Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am John Brown. Today I'm checking out the brand new Dietzel Herbert Synergy module. Now this system shouldn't be something that you've not noticed on my channel before. I've demoed quite a lot of things with the Synergy system. Everything from the Engel Powerball, the Engel Savage, the Friedman stuff, the Soldano, and now we have the new Dietzel module, which is the most loved Herbert module of the head basically and it does sound really really quite good i've not tried a herbert head since about 2006 but i did remember quite liking that one especially compared to the vh4 so um pretty simple control layout it's a shared eq between two channels a gain control on each channel channel a volume control on each channel and it has separate mid frequency cuts here for each channel so if you want a more scooped sound on one channel you can with the shared eq and if you want a more full sort of focused mid-range, really forward mid-range, then you can do that as well through two different channels. Running through the Synergy 5050 power amp, obviously. It's going in this, uh, see this light on in this room over here. That's my cab chamber, <laughs> which is housing my new Zilla 2x12 cab, which is covered in this really cool green croc Tolex. It's got a V30 in it and a Neo Cream back. It's been mic'd up by a Bayer Dynamic M260 ribbon mic, a Lewitt LCT440 Pure condenser, and a MTP440 dynamic mic. And it's going into an Antelope Audio Zen Tour and into my MacBook Pro in the other room. Got this thing too. You guys have seen this before. It's a Minus Devel Elite with a Flame Maple top, Seymour Duncan P Rail pickups, tuned to C Sharp, Dadgat. Let's try channel one. My picking doesn't really allow me to do the clean channel, so let's just screw that idea and just go straight for the filth. Let's turn the gain to halfway. <laughs> absolutely amazing straight away so let's do the metal kind of thing scoop the mid a little bit boost the bass boost the treble <laughs> Thank you. 
has that tool thing where it's like that kind of driver saturated sound. It's really hard to sort of explain it because uh, what's the fucking guitar player's name again? And Adam Jones, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, Adam Jones has a very, very, I don't know why my mind just went blank then, but he has a very, very unique guitar sound that is basically a very characteristic of the Dietzel sound. <laughs> It's literally right there. That's kind of the characteristic. So let's try this mid cut um, control as well. sort of using the mid control knob it didn't really sound like uh, the mid, mid cut knob sorry it didn't really sound like it was doing anything until you turn the control on and off and you can actually hear that it's actually scooped it quite a lot but it's still got that really nice mid range to it that is required because the guitar is a mid range instrument it actually sounds really really wicked uh, i want to try the channel two now and i'm pretty sure it's just going to take where channel one left off which is more dirt <laughs> channel one with more gain and more compression it's definitely more buttery buttery <laughs> frequency control is it allows you to boost more of the noty mids rather than that horrible woofy disgusting mahogany mids and anyone knows that <laughs> even though i've got mahogany here this is the only guitar i actually have with mahogany because i'm not the biggest fan of how it makes the mid-range almost a bit claustrophobic and that's the good thing about this controller is, is that you can really start cranking the mids then and cutting out the mid frequency that is the claustrophobia, as you can observe now. That's like the seven string saver control. 
right there on a six string it's not offensive with the with the mid-range like like even here it's not offensive it's a little bit mid-rangey <laughs> But it kind of gives it a little bit more power in the bottom end whilst also giving it a little bit of extra note as well. And on a seven string or anything lower, that will be the saving grace, basically. What an amazing sounding module. It sounds correct. It sounds like a Herbert. It feels like a Herbert and it sounds absolutely amazing. Special thanks to Adam from Hot Pole Studios for filming this video and uh, helping me set up and all that other stuff. He's he's actually all right, you know. Let me know what you think of the tone in the comments. And um, yeah, check out the Dietzel Herbert module from Synergy and the entire Synergy system. It does sound really, really good. And once you're in the system, it's only 350 quid for a new amp. Anyway, yeah. Thanks for watching my YouTube and I'll see you next time. Peace.